Hi, everybody. That's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. I think we should just play until we're done playing. I, that's fine. Just 100%. Just play until we're... Play we for feel 20, like we're exhausted and we're good. 22 <laughs> to 25 minutes and then count who has the most. Yeah, exactly. Great. That sounds perfect. I like I like that. You know what? Because we make up our own rules. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> hey, little ghosties. Wait, we were recording that whole time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. I didn't pick my nose. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I well, don't think fun. you did. Yeah. So you noticed a little bit different setup today. That's right. We have um a real live Joe. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> here to play uh, Joe Hello, Name It. Yeah, Joe is one of the members of Society Circus Players, as well as the Just the Funny Improv Theater and uh, various other yeah, too outings. Many, too many at this point. Yeah, too many to count. <laughs> <laughs> but when we played Joe Name It the first time, we were like, we have a friend named Joe. We need to invite him to play this game. We weren't lying. We actually have a friend named Joe. Yeah, he's, here he is. He's here in the flesh. And the beauty is, in this game, if your name is Joe, you get to go first. Oh. Mm-hmm. So no schwazi or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, you get to go first. All right. Well, they can pick a card first, no? And then you no, pick, ro- roll first. I'm sorry. Somebody was listening when I explained okay, the rules. Okay, fine. It wasn't the number you. you need to know the number to know. You what's need to know the go. number first. Got card. it. Got exactly. it. So this is for any Joe. Okay. okay. Name a science fiction character with the number four in their name. There's uh, got to be a droid named R4. There has to be. Yeah. Oh, four. Yeah, like a four. So not not R two D two. Can nope. I add the two twos in R two D two to make four? <laughs> <laughs> There's C three P O, right? Yeah. Uh, BB eight, BB nine. Uh, yeah, right. BB eight, BB nine. IG eighty eight. Like I know all these stories, but it, uh, uh, there's got to be an R four. And I feel like there's a. It's sci-fi the boxy character. one. <laughs> it's like the boxy R two. The one that looks like a trash can. Yeah, that that doesn't have the round dome head. That it's just a flat head like cone. I am like ninety nine percent guaranteed that that is an R four unit, but I can't name an individual yeah. from the from that line. Yeah, right, exactly. So are we saying no, Joe? Uh, there may be one. There has to be one. Are there I, any Cylons from Battle Scar? Battle Scars, but it can Galactica? it can be a character. Like it doesn't have to be a robot. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but I don't know any characters with numbers any characters in their either. name that yeah. don't, you know. Uh, I think there's a sci-fi would, character named would, Seven somewhere. Would there Codes and Kids Next Door be considered science fiction? Because there is a number four. They're huh. all number one, number two, number three, number four. It just, is it considered? In what? Codename Kids Next Door. The cartoon from there's also, 2000s. Do they have There's gadgets? also got to be a they four do. in Stranger Things. Because the kids all have numbers. Well, yeah, but you don't meet any of those until, yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, you meet season, them later on, but there's a two. four. Yeah. And that awful yeah. arc <laughs> guy. This, I didn't so, just, just so you know, while we're still trying to figure this out, this is why we call our listeners little ghosties. Uh, because right now, one of them is yelling at their radio or phone the answer to this. <laughs> But we can't hear them, and that's probably the closest feeling any living being can get to what it's like to be a ghost. You're just in the room while people are trying to figure out what's happening, (laughs) and they're like, four, four, and you just can't. There's literally just a character named four. I'm I'm saying a no, Joe. No, Joe. Yeah. No, Joe for that one. No, Joe for that one. So we burn that. Yeah. Okay. I'll go next. Okay. Two. Number is two. Any Joe. Okay. Name the letters corresponding to the phone button to ABC. Yes. Yeah. It's ABC. So Joe gets that card. Great job. Okay. So much. Right. Because one like, doesn't have any numbers yeah, assigned like, to no it. Numbers. Yeah, but it was, okay. I regret smart. That's my one thing about switching over to a smartphone is because before I could, because I didn't use T9, mm-hmm. but I could text while keeping my eye on the road because I knew what all like JKL oh, right. is five. Yeah. Mm. WXYZ is nine. Like I know we're all like way are. back in the day, and back when yeah. they, we had tactile buttons too, so you could yeah. see where you were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could do it in your pocket. Now you know you're a teacher, so you constantly see kids in the back of the room looking down at their crotch and smiling. Yeah, but I teach college, <laughs> so I figure if you want to be in my class and text, yeah. that's your business. Yeah. Just don't come at me later when right. You know you didn't do your work or your assignment, or you don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
Okay, this is just Joe, so that's me. So that's just you. And then it's name three Batman villains. Oh, well. Good. Mr. Okay. Freeze, Catwoman, and the Riddler. Well. Yes. That now, wasn't even hard. Just for the hell of it. Name three Batman villains we won't know. Ooh. Uh, oh, the problem is you might know these. I'm Egg, not that. I'm uh, not that. The Eggman. Um. <laughs> oh, I am the walrus. Goku, could you? No, there's a there's a character. It was played by Vincent Price of all people. Um, okay. the Pharaoh, who was played by, if I'm not mistaken, Dom DeLuise, and <laughs> I mean nothing says Pharaoh like uh -huh. Dom DeLuise, right? And Firefly. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Didn't know any of them. Mm -hmm. Did you know about Scarface and the uh, ventriloquist? Scarface the movie? No. So it was one of my favorite Batman Because here's villains. the thing. All the things mm. that you're yes. saying yeah. are also other things that I yes, do know. Yes, that's true. Yes. No. <laughs> They're just not <laughs> there was a Batman in Batman villain. world for me. There was a Batman <laughs> villain who was a mobster named Scarface. And Very he was inventive. carved out of a piece of wood, right? Um, but the ventriloquist was obviously the one controlling the puppet, but it was like a split personality thing. Mm. And like Scarface would insult and belittle the ventriloquist and like smack him around and stuff. But I like, sincerely it was hope, such, I, yeah. I hope he's in therapy and really getting <laughs> help and getting. Yeah, I it was one of the creepier ones movies. from the animated yeah, series. It was one of the creepier ones. And then the comic book, it like really went deep into like who's really in charge here? Is it Scarface or is it the like even when he would let go, Scarface would still talk right and because it's a comic strip you're not you're obviously not watching the puppet move so it's always just like the speech bubbles coming out of the puppet's head um it was just one of the more interesting batman villains to me i'm just gonna say that yeah joe fantastic yeah yeah you definitely watch the series yeah get into it isn't no. the series on netflix now uh i think it's on hbo max one. oh this is an easy one any joe any joe name a celebrity with a one syllable name share damn I was gonna go for seal. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Drag Race, so Cher has really been on the forefront. Yeah, Cher's just in your mind. Wow. Uh, just Joe. Name three deadly sins: uh, wrath, mm -hmm. gluttony. Yes, that's my favorite. And one. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, really? I know. I can only name two. This is so bad. Um, wrath, gluttony. They were also villains in the Shazam movie. And <laughs> there's seven, and I. For all seven people three. who saw that movie, this is so bad. Yeah, sloth, 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 sloth yeah. is one. Yeah. So envy. What are the other ones? Envy, greed, envy. sloth, lust, jealousy, wrath. Uh, envy is jealousy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, gluttony. You said. Uh huh. And pride. Pride. Oh. Yeah, I'm I just going through the movie seven. I'm like going go. through yeah. all the all the. All I the was murders. I was trying to think of it too, but I haven't seen it in such a long time. What's in Ooh, the I should watch it again. Oh man, this is just Joe, and it's name five parts of the human ear. Okay. Oh, I could name. Uh, I think I could the do lobe, it. the ear canal, the eardrum, the. Yeah, the, 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 the lobe, the 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 uh, wiggly thing right here. Uh, <laughs> your tragus. <laughs> yes, your tragus. I have mine pierced. That's why I know. And uh, ear hair. That's five. I would argue I that's know. not actually part of your ear. That's the outside part of your ear. <laughs> Fine, the the wax. inside part of your ear <laughs> is actually your ear. The cochlear. Does that count? Cochlea. cochlea. Yeah, the cochlea. There yeah. we go. And there's a, I think there's a hammer and an anvil yes, in there. Yeah. The little bones. Uh-huh. Your eardrum. You got that. Yeah, I that got was the, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, yes, I got this. All right. So can I spill some tea? Oh, please. Okay. I was watching, I went to like a play reading thing the other day. And one of the plot points of the play was a person's ears being cut off and then they couldn't hear. And I was like, but that's not how hearing actually works. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, not. You it's the part have... that's deep in there yeah, that actually like, does the hearing. Right. I was like, you cannot have earlobes mm -hmm. and hear. Yeah. You and also have wear... earlobes and not hear. You just can't <laughs> was... wear sunglasses anymore. <laughs> like... uh, you could if they're the clamp, like oh, the ones that really true. clamp on yeah, tightly. That's yeah. what my... Or you put the thing in the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a set of the Morpheus ones that just clip onto your nose. 
how good are they? Not. Not, yeah. It's like, no, how inconvenient They're are really they? That's good. really the question. You get a I headache wanted. real quick. I was going to say. It's like, it's just squeezing you yeah. right here the whole time. It seemed like a cool idea. You're giving yourself a sinus headache. Right. Yeah, basically for fun. what you're doing. What you yeah. need to do is have a, a magnet, a strong That's magnet, mm. surgically implanted oh. into your the bridge of your nose. Yeah, right. Exactly. And Just then, no big deal. Yeah. yeah. Nose big deal. That is four. Four. Any Joe. Okay. Name the number of syllables in the first four words of this card. What? <laughs> <laughs> Name the number. Oh, in the first four words, okay. So eight. So the number of syllables in the first four words. The number yeah, of syllables. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight. I didn't understand the question. <laughs> I didn't, at first. Yeah, it's I didn't a good... get it either. Yeah. Also, Allie and, and I have lots of conversations about syllables, syllables and how many are in things, and uh, we don't tend to agree. And I'm not going to start this fight again, but here we go. But we all managed to agree on this one. Yeah, we did. So. Yeah. This is another math question, everybody. Get ready. <laughs> Name the number of outs in six baseball innings. Uh, uh, 36. 36. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Six times three. Yeah. Six, six times six. Cause it's, oh, because it's yeah. three, three on, on one top. side and three on the yeah, other. Right, you yeah. still got there. Three up and three I got down. The <laughs> wrong thinking got me to the right number. What Correct. was it you said today? Cheer when someone hits a triple play and it's like, no, that's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. Also, nobody hits a triple play. They hit into a triple play and then it's a bad thing. Who cares? Yeah, you make a triple play. You make a triple play. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we tied. Who got it first? Joe got it first. Joe got it first. Also, your his name is I'll, Joe. I'll take it. Yeah. Your yeah. reasoning was correct. Yeah, he knew. <laughs> Mine <yeah>. was <laughs> you, both my reasoning and math were incorrect. Yeah. Actually, right. You got the math right. You just you you got it the right answer. You just got there the wrong the way. The wrong way. You would have gotten <laughs> docked a point for yeah. incorrect work. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. You might have cheated. Yeah. Uh, name something with two wings. Any bird. Like a sparrow. Well, you didn't say it was an any Joe oh, sorry, card, okay. so we didn't know if we were right. supposed no, I'm to gonna, answer. I'm just going to do the next one. Sorry. Okay. This is a just Joe. How so convenient. Just you. <laughs> I know. The first, all yeah. the, time. the first any Joe card that he gets, and he somehow manages to <laughs> scrap it on a technicality. I know, right? I'm glad someone else is here to see this. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like all the people watching yeah. our show? <laughs> this is a just Joe card, and it's named two words that start with X. Z X ray, and I had to. Oh, uh, X I chi. That's xylophone. Also, yeah, a solid you went the xylophone. hard way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Xanax. Babe, I was going by my words with friends victory words, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> man, I used to play words with friends. Chi is X I or X I. Yeah, I don't know if it's pronounced chi, but I'm assuming it's pronounced chi. Maybe. Yeah, it's X I. How like how is it Z? <laughs> Uh, the... Joe rolls a four. Just, four. Just Joe. Okay. okay. Name four kinds of sharks. Ooh. Go uh, ahead. Great white tiger mm -hmm. nurse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whale shark? Yes. Yeah. Whale shark's a thing. Huh. Yeah, absolutely. Totally a thing. Like, it sounds right. I think I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. But is whale it a whale? Whale shark is totally a thing. Yeah. One. Any Joe. <laughs> oh, I lost the opportunity to say baby show. shark. <laughs> do, 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 I do, should have do, done do. that family yeah. baby mom Mama, and dad yeah. <laughs> grandpa shark <laughs> we just okay I taught preschool for a long time I'm so sorry. I was like deep in <laughs> I was deep in baby shark long before anybody knew what it was mm -hmm. and let me tell you what three year olds know that song slaps and it slaps hard and it hits at preschool every single time so when, like, like baby, baby shark became a thing going. i was like i'm this coolest person around like i already know this song <laughs> it was cool for five minutes okay um just like me any joe name a television show based on one lead character seinfeld 24 oh <laughs> I, mean, I don't Allie know what based first. on though means like seinfeld is named after jerry seinfeld right. but there's what four or five characters yeah yeah kind of ensemble yeah like based on one lead character that just follows one character and you around? said 24 yeah i mean obviously that's still i feel got like a cast. that's a better answer what do you think yeah 24 is a better yeah because I, I would consider seinfeld an ensemble right it's named after him but it yeah yeah 24 that's a good one Ooh, i got six also i love this dice and i think we talked about this last time 
It's a six-sided die, or a D6, if you will. The The six has a little dot on the bottom of it. Like, there's a nine somewhere. That that aggravates me to no end. (laughs) I hate that when they have it. It's like, how dumb do you think I am? Yeah. (laughs) This is an any Joe. Name a book title that contains the number six. You it, mean the number? No, it was six four. before I picked it up. Oh, yeah. Sorry, because remember I, I talked about the six with the dot. A book title a that book name- title that contains the number six. Is it the s- six husbands of Evelyn Hugo or the seven <laughs> husbands of Evelyn Hugo? <laughs> Is it six wives for six six brothers? This, I think there's a book called The Six Wives of Henry the Eighth. There's a I could also there's be a Rick Wakeman that. album called The Six Wives of Henry the Eighth, and mm-hmm. it's fantastic. A who? Rick Wakeman. He played keyboard for Rush. Okay. <laughs> he also was the the session pianist for Life on Mars with for Bowie. Mm-hmm. A couple of Cat Stevens stuff. Weird dude. Fantastic musician. And that album, if you don't like prog, like if you really hate prog rock, you probably won't like it. Mm-hmm. But give it a give it a listen anyway. Is it just like songs about there, it's, the six gals? It's their pieces, so there's no singing. So they're okay, just musical yeah. pieces. And then there are six tracks on the album, each one named after mm. one of the, the wives. wives. So it's kind of like Anne Boleyn. inspired. Yeah. yeah. Anne Boleyn is amazing. That <laughs> track is a killer. Anne Boleyn slaps yeah. every time. I don't care. I'm going to say Six I, Degrees no, is care. my answer. The, six Degrees? Yeah, the novelization of the movie starring Will Smith. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know. I I I actually think it's a seven. Yeah, does, husbands of Evelyn Hugo or something. Right. Seven's like that. popular yeah. in numerology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a seven. No husbands. Joe. No Are Joe. No Joe. No, no there's Joe. definitely one. I just don't know what it is, and I don't think Dash knows what. Yeah, it is I don't. Like with absolute certainty, I do not know. And that was my category too. Yeah. Like I yeah. really should have known that. Yes. The four. No, those are the four agreements. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Two, yeah. any two. Joe, any Joe. Name something with two points. A line, a line? segment, <laughs> line segment, <laughs> a line segment. Yes, because okay. a line can go on forever. It, it doesn't have. It the does. Points. By definition, it, it goes on forever. forever. Line segment. So a line segment does not. For yeah, me, Joe true. got it. Go ahead. Uh, array. Oh, that's me? <laughs> no, because array has four. one point. One point, and then it goes Extends on to infin- infin- add infinitum. Any Joe, name a music group with four members. The Beatles. Oh, yeah. I heard the Beatles first. Yeah, Fab Four. I heard the Beatles first. And actually the original Boys to Men, because like the Boys to Men after three the 90s now, yeah. are only three. Yeah. I was going to say the original Destiny's Child, because they had four. Oh, they did point. have four, yeah. yeah. All right, three, the number's three, and it is... Na- oh, just Joe. Name three birds of prey. Ooh, fun. Uh, an eagle. This is where Wingspan comes in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a falcon and a condor. There you go. We would have also accepted Chicken Hawk. Chicken Hawk. That's a good one. You guys are, I'm a have you guys hawk. ever seen, like, so we have uh, white tipped hawks here in South Florida. There's this, like, brown. The, yeah, they're they're br- of... they have, like, yeah, their wings yeah, are I've white. Seen but, them, yeah. yeah. They are massive i <laughs> saw one on the ground one time not 10 feet from me this was before phones had cameras on them which was unfortunate but i remember seeing it on the ground and i was like is that a small person yeah it was huge just the standing there bigger the bird the more terrifying it is uh, yeah. like if a bird can look me dead <laughs> in the eyes i'm like i want no part of you, this you made that sound like it was a revelation yeah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. no i want no part of it what, what is it like the the, the shoe, shoe bill, bill? Yeah. yeah the dinosaur yeah. looking <laughs> or a cassowary yeah, yeah absolutely not like, yeah like real life raptor right have you seen a cassowary <laughs> in real life no I've that's not the one with the I'm red s- eyes i'm right? still here no cassowaries are like they're like prettier ostriches, but they okay. have like a horn on top yes. of their head, okay. like a yes, ridge. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, and it will look and, you straight have, in the eye too. I think they've got the nail. 
Yeah, you may like, also like have the, the nail. I, 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 the nail. I didn't really want to delve into too much of it because I was like, <laughs> that bird is look. Well, it can only look you in, in one eye because it has to turn its head. So it can only do one eye at a time. It's a, bit, it's a it's lot. Like, Hold on, let me switch to my good eye. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of cassowary. Yeah, fully ostriches and cassowaries no par- and emus. emus. Emu. No part they of it. They fought a war. <laughs> this bird fought a war <laughs> and won, I think. Somebody look that up. Look up Emu War. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. Tell yeah, us yeah, about yeah. it, Joe. We don't do any research, so it's okay if we're wrong. So <laughs> I don't really know the specifics. That's fine. But it was a, I, it was probably like a human expansionism thing mm-hmm. in probably Australia, maybe New Zealand. Solid one of, guess. One yeah. of the two, but I think Australia. And yeah, it was like, it's an actual thing that they were fighting emus <laughs> they were wait humans were fighting emus yeah. emus were fighting each other humans were fighting emus i guess wow. they were trying to clear the emus from so. the space I think wow. that was the thing. emus that sounds like it would be a thing like yeah. they're just like hey guys we're gonna we're gonna build some stuff here and the emus were like no <laughs> oh no wait it's in australia so they're like now no, no. Yeah. <laughs> not today mate no you're not building your house here <laughs> Whose turn is it? I believe Mine. No. I did the birds of prey. So it's your turn, yeah. <laughs> now. Now. <laughs> Go away, you wanker. Five any Joe. Name a shape with five sides. Pentagon. Pentagon. You guys are much quicker at this than I am. Like, I get the answer, but after you've already done it, just because it's taking my brain a little bit longer to, like, render. <laughs> <laughs> what we could <laughs> do. Uh-huh. Is say name a shape with blank sides. Yeah, and then, then roll. roll the number. So everyone's kind of already in the right headspace. Mm, All right, okay. Yeah. I see you. I'm but okay with that. Who won this one though? It's your. Uh, call. you guys said it at the same exact time, so I feel like you should roll, and whoever gets the higher number wins. Rollies. All right, we can do, do it. That. Do it. Do it. Two. Two. You nailed it. I nailed and it. And five. five. Joe five. Wins the Joe card. gets it. Yeah. Joe, right, you're Allie, you're pick, crushing at a game. Pick a card named first, after you. and then you roll. I helped write the questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. Well, so this is an any Joe? Okay. Okay, so now I'm rolling. Wait, what's the question, though, before you Sorry, roll? Okay, we changed the rules, and now I'm stressed about it. Okay. <laughs> Name a country that borders blank other countries. A country that borders blank other countries. And now we're going to roll. Okay. One. Portugal. Na- mm. Only borders Spain, right? Yeah. 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 There you go. Man. Although, I guess that could be interpreted as one or more countries because it doesn't say only one i mean i i took it as just one country which but is what one made other... it difficult yeah right. but otherwise it's just mm-hmm. yeah but right, you, just you could anything. also interpret it island. you could also canada. Interpret it the other way. actually yeah canada only borders the u.s yeah just borders it twice <laughs> <laughs> and for a very long distance <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it is only one country yeah, that's true. Yeah. Actually, does it does it border more than twice? Does it border because it borders Alaska uh-huh. and then and all of the northern U.S. What's, what's right, the but... North Pole? Is that its own thing? Is that Antarctica it's, or is that in it's the just south? ice? It's yeah, Antarctica. I think it's just <laughs> the pole. I'm pretty sure there's no ice. So there's no the land polar bears don't have a flag. Right, so... polar bears don't fly. Don't no flag. Technically, <laughs> no country, no flag. Those you know are the what rules. it was? It's, there was. <laughs> There, there were no indigenous people there for us to take it over from. So oh, there's no. So they were just like, no one cares about this, <laughs> right? Yeah. What am I going to take this from a bear? Yeah, right. They can have it. It's I'm not going to fight a bear. <laughs> I just fought a bunch of cassowaries. <laughs> Is this empire really worth it? Let's be honest. <laughs> We lost like 15 guys in that emu thing, all right? Like, we don't have the manpower. <laughs> Do they have a big bird? Do they have a big bird? That's the first thing we need to know. All right, this is a Just Joe, so name blank famous Joes. If it's Just Joe, you can just, uh, yeah. This is name five famous Joes. Oh, this is fun. Uh, Joe... Oh, my God. I bet you I could do it. Like... Joe, oh, Can oh, I Joe, steal it from wait, you? Wait, no. This is a just Joe. This is uh, Joe Namath. Uh-huh. Uh, Joe, the guy from the Brothers Band. <laughs> Jonas? Oh yes, Joe Jonas. Uh, Joey Fatone. Ooh, that's a good nice. one. That's a good one. Um, Joe Montana. Mm-hmm. And... 
Joe. Are you talking to me? No, that's, 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 <laughs> I quote the wrong guy. Yeah, that's De Niro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the and one. the other one's Al Pacino. Um, Joe Pesci. Yeah. yeah there that's, it is. That's, that's what I was trying one. to get you to. Yeah. I meant yeah. to, Utes. The Utes. Utes. The Utes. The Utes. The Utes. I quote that movie at least once a week. Yeah, I saw 100%. it recently. I love that movie. I don't. We'll talk about it later. Okay. I feel like that's a good subject to broach on the pod. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Although I was happy oh, to I, see... I, um, forgot to do... Yeah. The kid from Karate Kid and something that wasn't the Ralph Karate Maggio, Kid. Ralph yeah, yeah, Ralph Macchio. I can remember his name. Yeah. He was also in Psych. He was in a few episodes of Psych. He was like, pretty good. I was like, why doesn't he get more work? All right, sorry. So I'll, I'll re-roll afterward. Okay. okay. So, Annie Joe, name an instrument with blank buttons. Oh, blank okay. buttons? Six. Six buttons. Name an, an instrument, instrument with six buttons. Six buttons. I don't know how many buttons instruments have. <laughs> uh, and is the instrument like a musical instrument, or can it be like a like an audiovisual instrument? I mean, a guitar has six Pegs like a Walkman yeah. is technically or those an little, instrument. You could do like a little kids piano that has six little mm. buttons I, on I it. Think or they'll like usually a, go up to eight because they'll get yeah, like an right. octave. A, yeah. You get a scale usually, and then you've got your black keys as well. Hmm. Six buttons. Six buttons. An instrument with six. And I say Walkman, so you've got your rewind, stop, it's not an instrument, play, fast forward. It's not an record, instrument. <laughs> Skip <Power>. protection. <laughs> Eject. <laughs> Eject. <laughs> That's got six buttons. Um, can a Walkman record? No. <laughs> Eject. <laughs> Eject. Eject. It depends on which one, because I had some like they weren't obviously they weren't yeah, the I mean, Sony Walkman. Brass like, brass instruments have three. There may be some that are six. How many does a recorder have? It has, but those are holes. Oh, those are okay. holes that you're it has covered. At least right. eight, yeah. They're not buttons. Mm. Yeah, clarinets and flutes and stuff have way more than way more, six. Yeah. yeah. Saxophone. Are we saying no, saxophone. Joe? Then I, I would venture to say there are instruments that other cultures use mm. frequently that I do not know the name of that have six buttons, mm -hmm. but I could not name one. Okay. So. Is there like a double trumpet? Right. I was literally <laughs> like, is that a thing? Like. Like, like a, a double-headed guitar or something. Right? <laughs> yeah. Or like a 12-string guitar, but it's just like, this is two it's trumpets just at two once. two trumpets at once. Or like, a, yeah, it's like a bass trumpet. <laughs> just... I don't know. Also I'm... sometimes referred to as just a tuba. Yeah. 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 Let's just say no Joe. No Go Joe, ahead, yeah. No Joe for that one. Card first, then. Me? Role. Yes. Okay, card first. Okay, it's just Joe. How many cards did you have, Joe? At seven, I think. Oh, okay. Name one punk rock band. <laughs> Go ahead, Allie. Um, the Ramones. Okay, I'll accept that. Not where I thought you would have gone. Given yeah. that, like two weeks ago, we were talking about Green Day <laughs> and Dookie and Sum Forty One. They're pop punk. Yeah, mm, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, any Joe, name a blank <laughs> syllable U.S. state. Oh, all right, ready? Don't Here we go. Six. Five. Name a five. Uh, last. Go. West Virginia. West. I don't know about that last. West one. Virginia. That's five. Yeah. I. I. Virginia. All right. We are not going to get into this argument. West Virginia. Yes. No. West no. Virginia. North Carolina. North, North Carolina. Carolina. That one yeah, I'll take. That's it. Yeah. I'll take North See? Carolina. It's, I bought it's myself me. time. It's a me thing. <laughs> it's a me thing. She just doesn't agree with me. Got it. Got Do it. Do you say Virginia? Well, that's that's why I asked. No one because says it's just Virginia. like yeah. You know what? Nobody says Kyle either. It's Kyle. Oh God, let's. Not... <laughs> I've heard this debate too many times <laughs> with different cast members. Yeah. <laughs> like the players change. Every... But it's still the same. The part of Ali this evening will be played by Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, it's Joe's turn. <laughs> Mine? No, yeah. they didn't. I just did the state. I just did. Uh, oh, no, I did the states one. I rolled a five. Okay. Yeah, sure. Joe just got the card, but we are very bad I, at keeping track. Yeah, I'm also <laughs> bad at remembering my own suggestion of card uh -huh. then roll. But yeah, name blank nocturnal animals. Ooh, 
and, and this, this is just Joe. Okay, yeah, just for you. I could go with Bat, but I won't. I'd rather <laughs> You're not gonna go take the easy route. <laughs> no, I'd rather go for a raccoon. Oh, okay. Shit. That is a nocturnal animal. Yes, cute. Very good. You know what else is a nocturnal animal that people don't think about? Hmm. Kiwi birds. Kiwi birds are I nocturnal. Yes, they, they are. Not. I mean, really? I'll be honest. Yeah. I know nothing about the kiwi bird. But. That that actually makes sense. That yeah. they that's the only way a flightless bird that looks like a fruit would survive. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's just walking around at night. Was the kiwi bird named after the fruit, or was the fruit named after the kiwi bird? That's I used to know the answer to that, <laughs> uh-huh. and I don't think I do anymore. Okay. I'm gonna. I, I bet you the fruit was named after the bird. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Because the look at the. I mean, the fruit on the outside looks yeah. just like the bird. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I saw them when I was in New Zealand. Not like in the wild. Right. But we like went into a place and I just remember it was so dark in there that we were like squinting and there were these little weird looking birds walking around. Mm. Yeah. So that's how I know. Nocturnal. Are they like a tasty bird? Is it a bird that people <laughs> would eat? I don't know. I, I wonder if they so. taste like kiwi. I don't, I don't that think people eat yeah. them. Okay, name six games you play with a die. Is this an any Joe um, or just you? Yahtzee, Parcheesi, okay. Dungeons and Dragons. Uh-huh. Thank you. This game. Yes. Um, backgammon. Is there a dice in backgammon? I don't remember which one backgammon is. Is that the black and white one? No, that's Go. Yeah, that's the inside of the chessboard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, Trouble. You're right. Yeah, it does. Trouble. Yeah. Life. Life. Oh no, life yep. has a spinner. That was a lie. Yeah, famously. Mm. Yeah, life has a spinner. <laughs> um sorry. Sorry does sorry. have, yeah. Cool. No Monopoly. No Monopoly. Uh, yeah, no. I I like Monopoly Deal. Have you played that? No. I, I like now act now that I'm like a board game person, I actively avoid anything that has to do with Monopoly. Mm. Should we do uh one more round after yeah. this one? And, Let's do one more round. And call it. Okay. Uh name blank one. This is just Joe. Name blank wonders of the ancient world. 87. Oh, six. Okay. I don't know. I don't do you even know them? <clears throat> uh two. Oh, it's a just Joe. <laughs> it's uh Right, I know, but like oh, we, you're gonna go you over could it. say okay. you know yeah. Kiwi Word Wonderland, and I'd be like, Great, uh, that sounds valid. <laughs> sure. Uh, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Mm-hmm. Sure. The, oh man, that place in Indiana Jones, the third movie, where it has the statues on the outside. Oh, I forgot what it was called. Oh my God. I don't remember. Um, the, there are some waterfalls. Oh, uh, the ruins in Peru. What ruins? The one, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Yes, Machu Picchu. Okay. Uh, that's are those? Two. Is it? I thought. I think the only s- surviving ones are the the pyramids. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of, of of the ancient world. Oh, of the ancient world. I don't think. God. I think those are the only ones that are still left. Hmm. So not Stonehenge. No. Oh. The largest hinge in the well. <laughs> Nobody even knows what a hinge is. Uh. I'm not going to answer this. I'm going to get this wrong, so I'm going to pass this. I think I know two. I want to talk about hinges for a second. There's hanging gardens. <laughs> yeah, the hanging that's gardens. The other, that's the other, of Babylon. Babylon. That's the only and other one I know. And then Petra. Is Isn't Petra one? No, Petra's still like... Which one is Petra? It's, it's, it's the Jordan. city. It's yeah. No, it's, oh. still, it's still like an actively like used thing. Like hmm. People still live in Petra. Okay. Yeah. Isn't there some Colossus? Oh, yeah. Of Thebes, oh, maybe? The Colossus of... The Colossus of Zeus? No. No. I read a book called uh, the colossus of something yeah and he was like this huge thing yeah now that all that's left is his feet something like that yeah Yeah. that was in greece somewhere Mm. how they built that giant statue i don't know it's beyond me aliens aliens it's aliens (laughs) i want to talk about hinges okay They, they recently and i'm talking about within the last 10 years uh they're like we may have discovered more hinges nearby and I was like, okay, stop. What do you mean may have discovered more henges? How do you not know if you have discovered right. it? Either found it? And then I started to look into what a henge was. And essentially, it's just like a little mound of grass of like dirt. or Like they carved out a, like a mini amphitheater is basically what it was. Mm. And Stonehenge just happens. So it's not that they discovered other stone henges. They discovered other hinges nearby so stone hinges happens to have those stone pillar things but all the other ones were just like 
you know, like meeting places. Look, friends, someone else dug a hole. Yeah, basically yeah, that's, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. It's but, it just the way, at least the way you're describing it, it sounds like just it's just holes. A really like lazy, <laughs> a really lazy attempt at a pool, right? Yeah. <laughs> or like like those you know, like those kids on YouTube that build the holes at three o'clock in the well. That's when I watch it, three o'clock in the morning. They build like pools and houses and stuff. You ever seen them? No. no. Really? We live in different corners. Of yeah, YouTube, we I do. Think. Yeah, we all but, live in. Very but I was thinking, separate. like, you know, you go to the you go to the beach. You get there early. You spend your whole day digging stuff out in the sand. Yeah, yeah, right. It fills with water. You're like, we have a pool, and then it just drains out, and you're sad by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that's what hedges were. It's like, look, we made a pool, and then there's just no nothing to retain the water. It just right. drains out. It like, drains ah, out, crap. Yeah, yeah. We'll make another one over there. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay, maybe that. This one was cursed by the gods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no water in it. Cursed. All right, I didn't get this. Put that over there. <laughs> okay, last last round. All right, last round. Go, Joe. All right. You keep rolling first. <laughs> Any Joe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Name a blank word Broadway musical. Ooh. A four, four. word Broadway musicals. Mm, a four word Broadway musical. Not Cats. Um, Not Les Miserables. Hold on. I'm going to get it. <laughs> We're going to get Back her. Back to the Future. Yeah. That, it's a new musical. Yeah. You're right. I did not know that was a musical. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And new. apparently it's, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's no. Yeah, the the new trend in musicals is to make musicals out of movies, right? For some like reason, Shrek and Beetlejuice because people go watch it. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, yeah, is one. Mm -hmm. uh, they did um, legal uh, legally blonde. That's right. They, they did, did legally mean blonde girls. Musical. Mean girls. Yeah, yeah. They've done. Well, lot. it's it's the it's you know it's the comic book movies of theater. It's you make a you make a movie out of a comic book, so you make a play out of a movie yeah yeah Just i mean adaptation. marketing we'll wise, all the way around marketing wise it's it's genius because mm -hmm. everybody who sees the movie yeah. or loves the movie is automatically like eh, i'd see that right maybe right. someone who's not going to see a musical yeah and yeah. then you're like oh people who love musicals are going to see it because mm -hmm. they love musicals right yeah especially because like oh we're taking a vacation to new york whatever we're on broadway and if you recognize nothing you're like yeah. mm, well maybe i won't watch right, something exactly. lion king's not here oh well, yeah right yeah um, okay, so name a television show with blank spinoffs. Four. Ooh, four four spinoffs. Spin Goodness gracious. Wow. I don't know Ooh, any that have had four, four spinoffs. Spin How many did Grey's Anatomy have? <laughs> Just it one. had one. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with no joke. Cheers. Cheers at Frasier. Cheers at Frasier. Cheers Frasier. at Frasier. Uh, Saved by the Bell didn't have any. Does Simpsons have a spinoff? No. no. Okay. Can officially. this be like a Russian a a, a a Russian nesting doll situation? Like so we're like, a spinoff of a spinoff of a spinoff. Exactly. Because yeah. so I can like, do like Tracy Ullman. Simpsons is a spinoff of Tracy yes. Ullman, and then there's a, a Simpsons spinoff. There isn't and a then Simpsons spinoff though. But like they they you know didn't what I'm yeah they didn't spin off, but it was like like Bob's Burgers and four spinoffs. Is so Futurama. Many. Yeah, four spinoffs is a lot. Uh, How did Friends had a spinoff. Uh, yeah. How I Met Your Mother, Mother had a spinoff. Mm -hmm. Full House. Full House at Full Fuller House. house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. I can't think of can, four I can only. Yeah, I can really only think of I two. know Supernatural had a few uh, backdoor spinoff <gasps> attempts. Star Trek. Okay. Star Trek. Because there's the original Star Trek. There's yeah. Next Generation. There's Deep Space Nine. And Enterprise. There's Babylon 5. Yeah. Then there's the cartoon one. Uh, lower decks. Lower decks. Yeah, it's got to be Star Trek. Enterprise. Yeah, Star Trek. It's yeah. got to be Star yeah. Trek. Picard. Picard. I'd be, I'd yeah. be more willing to give it to Star Trek than like Power Rangers. Right. With Power Rangers, because those weren't spinoffs. That was they yeah, were just it's continuations. just continuing and yeah. just changing yeah, yeah, yeah. the name. Right. But yeah, but Star Trek. I mean, it's yeah. different cast, different ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's right, got to. Right. It's got to be. Star but Trek. it's all under the Star Trek banner. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just Joe. Uh, name blank books with the word little in the title. Oh, come on. <laughs> six? Six. I got six. All right. I can little give you one. women. That's the one. Great. Yeah. Chicken little. Uh, Stuart little. Great. <laughs> Nailed that one. Uh, big trouble in little China. Um, oh. This is actually this is hard. Yeah, this is hard. Yeah, yeah. 
I've got four. That's way more than I thought I was going to get. Um, four is a solid showing. <laughs> the uh, Little Lies. Big Little Big Lies. Big Little Lies. Big Little Lies. Um, and... There's got to be a million kids books with Little. Uh, little John, the spinoff of Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was the seventh spinoff. That was the seventh spinoff. <laughs> um, little children. I don't know. Damn, I'm one short. There's got to be some like. There has to be something. Uh, there, uh, there's got to be a kids book. Oh yeah, yeah. You know I guarantee I mean? you, if like we looked it up right now, there'd be yeah. like, a bunch of them. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, I can't think of any. Little someone favor. is like if I looked screaming. up the if I looked like book little favors, I guarantee you it would pop up, right? So I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I'm going to say I got that. All, All right. right. That let's count fine. our Let's count our cards. Three, four, I did not win. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Joe is our winner. Joe is the winner this of game is just rigged. Joe. <laughs> rigged, I tell you. Your check's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm glad we finally got to have you on the show. I'm, I mean, yeah. we did this in like season one or two, and we were like, let's bring Joe on this. Yeah, Ellie and I had to sit down and be like, all right. We have a calendar. <laughs> yeah. What Thursday is open. <laughs> oh, man. And we know you're a game person. So, right. Yeah. yeah. That's the other we thing is that we know you're a game guy. You. Yeah. I'm like looking at the, all the like games that are still wrapped over there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Y'all can't see it in the shop, but this room is so full of games. Yeah. We're keeping some of them secret so we uh -huh. can play them later for you. But there's so many games in this room. Yeah. We've got a lot of games. Like for Christmas, my brother and his girlfriend just gave me tons of games which it's one of those <laughs> things where like you know people know that you like a thing and yeah. so they just give you a bunch of the thing mm -hmm. like i have a bunch of llamas everywhere yeah. i have mugs i have shirts i have pajamas yeah. i have stuffed ones i i have them everywhere and i love it every time yeah but a game is something that's so useful yeah so right. just tell yeah. people that you like games yeah and you're gonna get games mm -hmm. i have a friend i get her a game every year for christmas right like, yeah I know one thing I'm going to put in her stocking, a game. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's like, if you're the type of person who isn't at least marginally obsessed with something, you're impossible to shop for. Like Just my parents, I can't something. buy my parents anything. I don't know what they want. Yeah. And if you look up like gifts for him, it's always like whiskey cubes. Yeah. yeah. And beard trimmers. Right. Beard oil. Like my dad it hasn't just, had a beard since 1978. Just remember to say like casual about, about at least one hobby. Right. Because I <laughs> deep dive so hard. <laughs> into all my hobbies that then i become difficult to shop for because of the other direction right because my sisters will be like okay you need a bike pump probably right but i know you've probably researched yeah like the, bike the pumps that bike go pump. like to death so yeah. i'm sure you know the one uh-huh and she wasn't wrong when right you said exactly that. exactly <laughs> Like, I know, like, I have vinyl pop. You can't see it in the shop, but this room is also filled with vinyl pops. And I have several vinyl pops. Many of them were gifts. I, I don't remember buying myself a, a lot of vinyl pops. But um, it's just like, he he likes vinyl pops, so they got me vinyl pops. Yeah. And it's like, I, I've never watched this show, but thank you. <laughs> but that's also why we're nerds. Like, nerds right. get obsessed with things and, yes. like, love things. And, and then, I love that about us. Yeah, and yeah. people give you the things. Yeah. So be obsessed with something today, yes. friends. Like, Allie loves dangly earrings, so... I do. Those are great gifts for her. I do. Yeah, yeah you can send them to us. Uh... <laughs> we don't have a P.O. box, but if you uh, if you go <laughs> yeah. to playdaypod.us and we, message us... I we'll... will tell you where to send me some dangly earrings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For Thanks. sure. Yeah. <laughs> all right well thank you again joe for coming on our show thank you joe for joining uh, us we love you that's ali that's dash and we'll see you next time bye. bye thanks for listening everyone now we'd love to hear from you you can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos access our episode library find out more about our brand of quality clean comedy and contact us with any questions or comments improvisers love audience suggestions so make sure you visit playdatepod.us and the podcast you just heard was a production of society circus players if you like what you heard today please rate review subscribe and share it with a friend and finally if life's a circus, we're the clowns. I just want to.
hold that sword for the entirety of the podcast. Go ahead. Feel free. Have my permission. <laughs> Your emotional support. Just like, yes. Yeah.